we just came back from dinner and I wanted to show Mark um, the lobby and the main pool. I haven't seen the pool yet, but I did see the lobby, obviously. So I wanted to show you guys. and you're gonna go all the way down and there's this circle here where you park or you can get dropped off in the front and you walk through so this is already a cute touch so then here this is where the lobby is and I'm not gonna lie I thought it was pretty small for such a large property but they make it work and they were all very friendly through the lobby so there's actually rooms in this building so this is cool so this is the main so there's rooms in here this gives like Caribbean vibes area to hang out. The marketplace is here. Do we need anything from the market? Keep going straight. That's where the main event pool is. Aww. Look how cute. She, they got a couple aerials. I didn't think they were that big. I've seen them on yeah. online. They're huge. So they do have a store. Oh, so this is the market, the Grand Co. from 11 to 11. Let me just film in here real quick. Okay, I'm going to pick up food to go. <laughs> Pizza, chicken wings, garlic breadsticks, kids' menu, pizza, hot dogs, mac and cheese. Get some coffee, sodas, juices. Paletas. Cool. And I did see her doing some ice cream, so sweet or soft serve. These Sundays look good. And it leads you to the pool. Oh, and here's where they're playing the movie. So there's the bar. And they're playing Captain Captain America. Actually, I was playing. <laughs> it's funny because I was watching this this morning at home. So it's a decent sized pool. I don't consider this super big. SVR definitely had bigger, but it's not bad. And it's cool that the movie's playing and the kids are having a good time kind of just playing in the water and watching the movie. Yeah, so this is really nice. I like this area a lot. And it's not too muggy right now. How you guys doing? Good? Good, good. This way is the spa as well. And then it says co the coffee. The Brew Coast Coffee is this way. So let's see if we can find it. Yeah, a lot of the amenities you can find right at the end, edge of the lobby. So that's kind of cool. So the boathouse rentals are here. Fitness and spas right here. The brew house is in the lighthouse. You see? It's a cute little touch. And then this is the little lake area. Oh, and you can, the foosball, ping pong, shuffleboard. 
and this is where you can fish. So that's cool. It's really beautiful at night. All these buildings are also a part of Grand Vista. This property is very massive. I would love to see one of the rooms here. What makes it so special? I wonder if they're like the two bedroom suites or you have to be the owners because you can be owners at these properties. Curious. Food arrived. I want to say it only really took like not even a half hour. So maybe they uh, say 45 to just in case. But I got the sampler. So these had the curd, garlic curd bites, some crostinis, some garlic parmesan wings, um, and I thought something else, but I can't remember. Um, and then we're gonna split a burger, and I got the Irish burger. That looks. Pretty 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 good it has steak tip so this is like steak tip with uh, a beer cheese or french fries mm -mm -mm. I love the good steak tips those are gone and then I got some loaded tots again I can't say no to potatoes and cheese and bacon so good. Really, yeah. I will say it was pricey. We ended up paying like eighty dollars for all of this. Um, but forty dollars a person. We got some apps, entrees, and I got a ginger ale. So I mean, you probably end up spending more at the parks or somewhere else. So um, it's a little, little bit cheaper. But we're gonna enjoy this and we'll go back to you. All right guys, so we're still eating, still making our way through everything. Everything is really good, right? Mm -hmm. Burger was amazing. That burger was- Really good. Thebomb.com, I used that earlier. Mark was like, what? <laughs> but it was. Um, they did forget the artichoke dip that's from the sampler and just gave us Christine. So I just called, told them that they forgot and they just brought it back. Um, some of the side sauces too, like the ranch marinara, they forgot for the sampler. So again, no big deal. They just brought it down, um, very quickly at that. So, I'm um, so far, see, this is, the burger's gone. Look at Mark's plate is empty. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to wait for sauces. No. He's out of trouble with that. There we go. Yeah, it is. All right, guys. It's about 8.30. The beauty of summers in Florida. Still daytime. And we're going to head out to our closest pool. To the Gulf Village. It is a smaller pool, they said. But honestly, I felt like the main event pool was kind of small too. So, if anything, we'll walk over to the main event. Because they are going to play Encanto, I forgot. They're playing Encanto on the big screen over there. By the pool. But, let's go check out the one that's closest to us first. I can't believe it, but the map makes it seem like you have to cross over three streets. And technically you are, but they're just like parking rows. <laughs> so the pool's right here, like literally not even a full minute to walk to. And the map, <laughs> it looks so far. Oh, I don't know. I haven't been here. Okay, so the pool is very small here. Um, it's not bad quiet but we're we've decided that we're gonna go try out the main event since the movie is playing over there it's a little too quiet over here for us Emma took a big nap so <laughs> we're gonna be up for a bit 
and just like that Florida weather it's raining thunder and lightning the big alarm just went off to notify everyone needs to get out of the pool so we didn't even make it across the street and we have a very upset four-year-old <laughs> who saw the pool and couldn't get in so we're gonna head back to the room if it goes away we'll come back out pool doesn't close till 11 so we have some time but yeah it's raining so we got rained out <laughs> We were gonna wait it out, um, but I just don't think it's gonna stop. A whole huge thunder just happened, um, and it was very sad, and rightly so. Um, so he is taking a bath right now, playing with some toys, the toys he got at Disney Springs today. So he is calm and a happy baby again. But man, he was so sad. And, you know, he's so young, not really understanding why. He thought he did something wrong. So he had to explain, no, no, no. You did, you're a good boy. <laughs> if it rains, we can't swim. And I think he finally understood. He didn't like it, but he understood. So now he has to take a bath. Got some bubbles going. He's playing with some toys. He's happy. Guys, I did want to show you this coffee pot, though. I love this coffee pot. <laughs> it, it can make up to 10 cups in one hit. For me, I prefer a strong cup of coffee, coffee so one bag makes two cups for us. But if you like a lighter coffee, you can make way more. You make up to six to eight cups um, with one bag of coffee. I did bring my own creamer. The benefits of living close. And there's a couple Publix nearby, even if you don't live here. So coffee, hotel coffee usually doesn't taste so great, but I did figure out with my preferred creamer, that actually doesn't taste too bad. And it's not acidic. You know, we will be going to bed a little early, but Emma took a long nap, so he's going to be awake for a while. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely need the coffee for a little bit. Mark is already dozing off, so he's probably going to go to bed. But he wakes up with Emmett in the morning, so that's okay. Let's be sleeping a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to let Emmett have his fun in the tub and probably edit some videos for you guys and watch some TV, TV that I never watch. Yeah, I'm watching the Great Bake Off show <laughs> on the Food Network. I don't know, there's just something about vacation that says like, let's watch local TV. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just gonna enjoy the night here in the room and relax and hopefully go to some pools in the morning we'll have breakfast in the morning so we'll be able to wake up early good morning this is checkout day we just checked out of our room everything's packed the cars are packed but we did make it to breakfast so we're gonna go to the grill um, it's right out of the exit or the entrance a security is on the side on the left side uh, if you're leaving the property um, and it's right by the golf course here. Um, not sure what kind of breakfast they offer, if it's just a la carte, a buffet, but, but I do know it's not complimentary. It is a separate charge. Um, and I just need some coffee. That's all. It's a little weird coming here because this is actually where we used to do the hiring events for Grand Vista, as, since I'm a recruiter. Um, the restaurant was closed for a little bit. They reopened, I believe, back in March. So, oh, there's stairs here. So, yeah. Feels weird to come as a guest in non-work <laughs> uniform or clothing. So, but yeah, 
Let's go have some breakfast. Let's see, there's people playing golf back there. It's a pretty big golf course. All right, so this is the menu. She's gonna get us coffee. Look at the menu, honey. Avocado toast. And they have pancakes, yummy fruit. Oh, they have a Bloody Mary. Absolute pepper vodka, Dimitri's Bloody Mary mix, garnished with an olive and lime. Now I find it. Perfect. doesn't take much to get him distracted and happy. <laughs> he thought um he thought you took um his toys. He was like, Toys coming? Toys coming. I said toys are already in the car, baby. We ain't leaving it behind. <laughs> he was ready to put it on his back, like his backpack. And I was like, You brought a little too many toys yeah. this time. That's that's a heavy bag. Yeah. <laughs> that's cute though. We should sign him as the backpack. Yeah. We did get the same thing. Um, so Mark got the bacon, egg, and cheese on a, ba on a bagel. And I got the... So far, so good. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I got it without the egg. Mm, so far, looks good, right? These potatoes look good, too. Hot. <laughs> They're seasoned well. <clears throat> Very good. Here we go. Have a big <clears throat> Pretty good breakfast. So far, the coffee was good too. Right. So this is the restaurant. Just wanted to show you guys. It's a little quiet now. Breakfast ends at 11. They do have outdoor seating that faces the golf. And there's people golfing back there. And it doesn't look screened, but it is screened. So you don't have to worry about any buggies. These doors are open, but I'm sure at night especially, they just slide them out. Because mosquitoes love to come and play. But this is the golf course. Very big. Alright guys, we were not able to enjoy any of the pools at this day. I'll have to definitely come back. But I did want to show you guys the pool. So we did see the main events pool. And we saw the golf pool. This is the Verdes pool right up front let's see what it looks like so this one's by a lake and you can see the golf course there the little shower for the pool is here and they have the hot tub 
over here on the side. Just film too much because there's a lot of kids around. But this is the other pool. So there's some buildings here. So these could be the resorts. You can actually be staying in one of these rooms and walking right into the pool area. So it is very convenient. And it's something that you can ask the front desk too to see if they can put you right across from a pool area. Okay, so we just saw this pool. So that was the Club Village pool. Yesterday we saw the Gulf Village pool before it rained. And the night before that we saw the main event pool here. So the only one we're missing is the West Village pool. So we're gonna head over there now. So we decided why not? Let's just go to the pool. So we're at the West one. West Village Pool. Enjoy for a little bit. So this one faces the, the lagoon over there. And then it has a little kitty area here for Emmett. So that's cool. I got it, honey. Go. So yeah. Cute. And it's right by the West Village's hotel. Okay, and just like that, we're back in the car. Um, <laughs> lightning in the area again. The sirens went off, pool was closed. So we spent like, what, maybe 30 minutes? Yeah, it was enough though. It was enough. Emmett was okay with leaving too. He was, he, I think he's getting a little sleepy. So the water really relaxes him. So he's like, all right, we can go. Well, I'm ready for a nap. So, uh, all right, well, that was our stay at Marriott's Grand Vista. We got to see all four pools, some of the amenities that they offer. They offer tons that we didn't even get to. Uh, maybe we'll have to stay next time for a full week to really enjoy it like we did uh, SVR. So you guys can go check out SVR. We were there for a whole week. Um, and we did Sheridan Vistana Villages, if you're interested, another MVW property. There's a room tour, a two-bedroom room tour there, and a resort tour as well. Um, we're gonna keep going. We work for MVW, we like the properties. Um, and hopefully maybe we can get one for my birthday in August. So I'm excited. Uh, thank you for joining us. Please, I hope you like the video. Like and subscribe. My name is Stephanie and thank you for being a part of my world.